Number 27, Joanna Janjacic. Please, 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 please. Don't let Joanna Janjacic's final years of her fighting career cloud the great things she's done in the sport. Yes, I know she finished on a knockout loss. Yes, I know she was 2-5 in her past 7 performances before walking away from MMA. But what came before that was damn impressive. And dare I say, great. Prior to this slump, and I'm using air quotes here because she was literally fighting the world's best. She was literally still in championship fights and very competitive championship fights. Prior to this, Yana Yonjechik was on a 14-0 run that put her as one of the most dominant champions in the UFC at the time, and they must watch attraction. She fought mean, she fought nasty, but also had an extremely advanced technique for the time, putting her light years ahead of her competition. And outside of the cage, she was also brash, she was also cool, and had this endearing style about her. There's no doubt Yana Yonjechik is great. The records and stats are there to back this up. She's the most dominant champion the UFC Strawberry Division has ever seen as she was able to defend the belt a total of five times, something no fighter in that division has, co has come close in doing. In my opinion, she's the greatest strawweight to ever do it. She's got the highest number of title defenses and a quality resume, defeating the likes of Carla Sparsa, Jessica Andraj, Claudia Gadella, Tisha Torres, Michelle Watterson, Karolina Kovalkiewicz, and the list goes on. I feel like Joanna Jonjejcik gets some unfair slack here, and probably a lot of that has to do because she had to play heel against a very likable Rose Namajunas. But if you just look at her run objectively, there's never been a force in that division as powerful as her, at least for now. And that's why Joanna Jonjejcik made MMA Junkies 30 greatest UFC fighters of all time.